If the assignment would have been to grow woolen armor, nailed it. But unfortunately, it was to be shorn every six months, and it was missed twice. This is eight of these plump babies I've done in this condition. So far, it's been three and a half hours in the brutal Texas heat, almost 100 degrees, and I am maxed. If you're just getting to the storyline, you've got perfect timing. The work's almost done. This is my last sheep, so if you want to know its backstory, check out sheep number one. Even though I've managed to hammer out some type of technique, these mats are eating my lunch, which feels ironic to say seeing as I haven't had one yet. This is one of those few times in life where thick and crusty is an understatement. This is a redneck machine gun Kelly nightmare. It's only redneck because I don't believe these are the kind of nightmares rappers are having. But there's no way these shearings are leaving me anytime soon. These mats have truly been formidable. This was not the only job I had scheduled for the day. I had several more, so I needed to move quickly, but that's not really possible when shearing overgrown sheep. Just a bit of perspective here. On a normal sheep, I get to stand up and take a break every three minutes. But with matted sheep from hell, I'm working three to five times as long. There's no time for breaks in between if I'm going to have any time left in the day for any other sheep. But I am truly gassed at this point, guys. My body is starting to give out on me, actually. My arms have started giving out on me. What can I do to help you? Does it. I couldn't hear Darian through my headphones, but it doesn't really matter because the only thing I can do is keep powering through. We're about five minutes in by the time that we find some clean long blows. The weight of this trash fiber is tugging on the skin, so all I can do is chop away and leave some behind. To save time, I could go closer to the skin on the first pass, but higher chance of nicking them, so I'd like to avoid that. I'm exhausted, not heartless, so I clean up what I can as long as she doesn't fight it. Obviously, this is intended for comfort, not looks, so if she doesn't want to stay for it, I don't really care about it. This is my eighth video on this herd, so I'm not going to leave in all the extra stuff. If you want to see the full shearing, go check it out in the description. This ewe seems to have a no mercy policy. It doesn't matter how hard I've worked or what my intentions are, she still wants to kick my ass. I don't really blame her, I'm just pointing out that the next sheep is always a fresh gladiator. And this particular one is an expert. Scope out the precision in that kick. Bam! Nailed it. That could have been my face. You would have liked that, huh, sheepy? But then, there would be nobody there to help you get out of this prison of a jacket. Likely she reacts this way because those mats are pulling on her skin, but there's not a lot I can do about that except remove them. The black lines left behind on her body are from where the mats pull on her skin and cause edema, so I know that this is going to feel better for her. Even if she doesn't understand it. But once I get through this last little bit here, I can pop her head out and make her a lot more comfortable. Yeah, that's much better. I'll be able to finish her from here no problem. But these mats are still tugging on her skin quite a bit, so it's taking me a long time to maneuver all of that and try to get her out nick free. We made it. And she's looking fresh as hell. Me? Not so much. My singlet is soaked in dirt, sweat, and lanolin. Oh, don't you just want a cup of that juice? <clears throat> oh, man. Gross! That was her neck. She wore it like that. That's her top knot right there. She's not heat stressed, so I'm happy about that too. Let's get a weight on this. Mmm. 14? Oh, 14 pounds. That's massive. It's heavy. But man, she had a lot of spunk in there too. She wasn't gonna let me get those 14 pounds off easy, but I know she's feeling better. 